What's up everyone, Yurima Plays here, back with another video. In this one, I have another house tour for you guys. Uh, but this time, this is my main account's house. And I have furnished this as if it was my dream home. And also, I have a new microphone and I honestly hope you guys can hear the difference because last video's quality was really poor, so <laughs> I honestly hope this is a good improvement. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I really appreciate all the support and it helps the channel grow. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, now it's time to start the actual tour. So when you enter, you come into the living room. Now, this room is very hard to furnish for me because of all the doors. And I feel like it's quite empty on this side. But on the other hand, I mean, I am glad with the corner where you can sit and watch TV. So I guess it works. Also, I've done some decorations on this entire wall here because it's pretty empty. Uh, normally, I would place my DIY workbench right here, but since it doesn't really fit the room, I decided to get rid of it for the purpose of the video. Uh, I've got some nice uh, closets as well, the wardrobe and the uh, zen style something i have no idea what it's called imperial chest i believe and i also absolutely love this wood burning stove it's so cute and then the seating area some books and magazines and of course coffee since i'm a coffee addict <laughs> and the bonsai shelf which i absolutely love i have used this in so many rooms by now <laughs> and so yeah that's the living room now going to the left is the kitchen and here we are in the kitchen um, as you can see I use the ironwood set a lot but that's just because I absolutely love it especially in this color combo with the white and light wood I also use the botanical wallpaper I have no idea what the real name is but um, I used to have this villager called Pensetti and she had this same exact wallpaper uh, in combo with this uh, kitchen island and I loved her house so much that I decided to sort of 
tried using that in my own kitchen and I really like how it turned out. I absolutely love my kitchen. I also choose the mint appliances because I really love mint in real life as well. Then on this wall I've put some wall decorations so that it wasn't that empty here. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the kitchen. <laughs> now let's head to the bathroom. And here we are. I tried to do the bathroom in a bit more of a oriental style or Asian style uh, because the normal bathroom stuff, it was really hard for me to make a nice bathroom with that. But then I thought about this secret bathtub and since this also has a bit of an oriental look, I was like, okay, we better do that for the entire um, bathroom. So I used some simple panels and the bamboo partition and then behind here are, uh, is where the toilet is hidden and where I have the music stand because I don't really like these items, they don't really fit the rest of the room but if you look like this you don't really see that so that's really good. I also really wished we had a mirror for above this sink because I do love this sink. It's my favorite one in the game. And then I have uh, a little area here where you can change your clothes and see how you look in the mirror. And here's just a little corner with some decorations. And I absolutely love this wallpaper. It really fits the rest of the room. So yeah, that's the bathroom. And now we're going to the bedroom. So here we are. I have furnished this with the antique set. I absolutely love the natural wood color of it. It's so pretty. I really love it. And normally in real life, I don't really like antique stuff, but in this game, I yeah, I do like it. I also really love that vanity. My mom has something similar like that in her house. So that is really, uh, really sweet. Now I have designed this room in the dark because it's uh, it's like a bedroom and with the few lights there are and the candle it it's enough light to see the furniture still but I will turn up the light a bit so you can see a bit better maybe also I used a lot of plants here because I absolutely love plants so they are basically in every room um, also this item here on the uh, on the table this is a lost item and it looks so darn cute. I'm gonna zoom in on it a bit. It has a pen and everything. It looks like a diary. So I was like, I really want that item in my bedroom as if it was a diary that I write in before to go to bed. Uh, so yeah, I basically just didn't return this item to the rightful owner. And if you uh, like skip the day, um, you won't be able to hand it in anymore. Now, the downside to these items is that uh, you cannot put this in storage. So if you know where you're going to put it, then it's fine. And otherwise, you will have to dump it on the ground somewhere or just keep it in your inventory. But I really, really like uh, the use of items that are not items, if that makes sense. I also use a lot of materials. You will see that in the next room. Um, I always try to look for more options to use, but this one is one I really like in particular. So that's it for the bedroom. And now we're gonna head downstairs to, I believe the favorite room in this house. Although I do love the attic as well, but I'll let that for you guys to decide. All right, here we are in my basement, which is an indoor outdoor garden something. <laughs> I always wanted a room like this because you can make it so pretty with all the plants and stuff. I have used, I will turn up the light, I have used the ivy wallpaper and the mossy floor I believe. And as you can see here I used items like materials some sort on the ground here. So like weeds and uh, saplings to make like a garden. And then we have a little bug area as well, where we produce honey and little birdie here. I wish we had like this 
like a bigger like a stick or like a tree branch where the bird would be on instead of in a cage that would be so cute and then here we have an area where you can have tea or lunch and then of course more plants and stuff and then on the walls obviously a lot of plants and I have this I have designed this to be in the dark as well and as you can see it really looks so pretty in the dark I absolutely love this room I it's hard for me to choose between this room and the attic but I think this one will be my favorite all right so now we're gonna go upstairs and take a look what is in there and here we are in my design studio now I am a crafter in real life I don't design clothes but there isn't really a lot of items you can use for a craft room so I decided to turn it into a studio or a design studio um, but I absolutely love how it turned out I also used some of the antique stuff here because it really fits the room uh, this would be the area where uh, where we would design our clothes of course some music playing here and then a fitting room so we can fit our clothes that we have made and I really love this old-fashioned uh, sewing machine so I've used that and this would be like where we were actually working on something and on the walls are four outfits uh, the hats, the shoes, and the bags are normal items, but the dresses are all custom design codes. I will link these in the description. And also, as I did in the last video, I will list all the items that I've used throughout the video um, as sort of like credits, so you guys can see what items I used in what room. Uh, but yeah, I honestly really love this room as well. I love this flooring too. It's the rosewood flooring, I believe. And I really love this color. It's like a brown, but it's like more chocolate brown. I really, it's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for this tour, basically. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like button. I uh, want to wish you all a very nice day and I will see you in the next video.